Hi peeps, it's your boy Cheddar Cheese. I'm back here with another video. Can I get like a hoya before we start? Because the last video got so much support, so many subscribers. Oh, I would just like to thank you guys. Uh, we are going to be continuing the series. I'm currently on quest. What is it? Empire Empire. Okay, yeah, I don't know what that is. Well, we're gonna head over to Imperia. <gasps> the Roman screen! Oh my gosh, it's so cool! That is so cool! Okay, that's the locate park. Pork, whatever you want to call it. Wizard! Oh, finally! I'm so tired of being Spark Lab assistant. Please, please tell me we have marching orders from the Ark Animal. Okay. Oh, well. Where to escort Malloy's dying body to an island called Mandalala? Hey, they have heard of it. Now, where are beans Lord? Oh, here we are! Ah, no, 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 no! How do you stop this thing? Ah, oof. Okay, here we are. Malloy's vital remains stable during transit, but she's still on a downward trajectory. Beans, you look like you're having some trouble there. Be careful, man. That's about as precious a cargo as precious cargo comes. Darn it, James. I'm a doctor, not a delivery man. Where's Spark? We need to get a move on. It takes a surprising amount of core strength to keep this contraption apart. Beans, my muscles, medical officer. You're right. So, the thing with our science officer is... Spark is obsessed with the network of sensors he's dreamed up. And I've had to assist him. He keeps jammering on about fascinating results. As we speak, Spark's out in the jungle investigating the sensor. The Northwest Quadrant has mysteriously gone offline. I offered to do it. He told me to wait here to verify a signal or push a button or something. I can never follow what that kid is saying. You should go check on Spark in the jungle with me. I'll stay here and make sure beans lack the luster and dumbbell muscles and don't prove the mission. Where is this? Oh, yeah, we should grab potions. Where do we grab potions? We're gonna go grab potions because you know your boy likes to die every time he goes into a goes into a but yeah yeah we're not gonna speak of it <laughs> like last time with my 800 health <laughs> okay we're not okay I wish the spells were kind of better this time because they're not this time they're met I mean they're not the best like a sky on, and there's two emanations, but it just doesn't look that great emanating. Like, I've seen it, and it's just like... Like, the last bull we got is Raging... Well, the last bull I got was Raging Bull, which is this. This is a good spell, and it's really good looking, but now this? I don't know. Let me turn it down. Check here. Particles, I'm gonna have a the particles are gonna be keep the particles low. Move back to right what did we just do? Okay, now let's go back here and go to the air jungles. I feel like this is gonna be a boss fight, so I will I don't know. We get we get it live. We're in a busy room, I believe. What room are we in? I'm gonna switch rooms. Oh wait, the copper room's an instance. I wonder. Okay, I'm going to switch rooms real quick because because we're in a perfect row, but I don't. I like blue. Let's go to blue. We don't get that screen.
Salutations, wizard. I trust Librarian Fitzhugh delivered my note. Excellent. Then you are aware of the work Captain Cork and I have been doing. As for the subject the note posited to you, what is the status of young Mallory? Hmm. So there is much work yet to be done. However, it would not be prudent for me to abandon my current project so close to its completion. The sensors we've installed throughout Imperia have yielded fascinating results. I believe we're on the cusp of a communications breakthrough. However, this sensor has been damaged, compromising the integrity of the entire network. Thankfully, I have identified the cause of the problem. Lightning bugs have looted the dynamos from this sensor. I theorize the intense electricity the dynamos generate is comforting to them. The network is vital to our efforts here in Imperia and must be repaired. Can you please retrieve the pilfered dynamos from the lightning bugs? Where is my ah? Okay, I'm fixing my chair. I'm sorry. Also, I had to turn off the fan. Sorry, guys. That was a horrible part. Oh. Okay. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. That was just my fault. I shouldn't have. Been. This is one of the most annoyingest things in the world, trust me. It's like so annoying. Like every single time I click a button, it's like, oh, let me double click. And what was that? Oh, yeah, there we go. That's all good. I can't, I can't even do that. Uh -oh. Oh, I want to tell you guys a story a long time ago. This is right. Like what, four years ago? I'm 11, oh, yeah. Uh, this was when I was six or seven. I played this game. Same character. Same exact character that I'm playing on right now. Couldn't equip the deck. It was hilarious. I couldn't play for months. And I was like so, like, I don't know. It was so funny. And uh, then I, I still have the pet from four years ago. That's Miss Brutus. I have a totally different pet. I don't use her, but she's locked in my backpack. Or she's at my house. Well, she's locked because she ain't going anywhere. Yeah, I still have the same pet. Same old pet. I know, embarrassing her. But I couldn't figure out how to equip the deck. Now I know how to equip the deck. I can play this game for real. Plus, I was in Night Shade. Everywhere I was trying to fight Night Shade. I found him with other people. This was, what, six years after the game came out. So people were still doing Night Shade, trust me. It was the time around of what? I was seeing commercials about Mushu, right? And I, was thinking, but I was always looking up how to get there because I didn't understand the basics of the game. I didn't understand. Like, I had a membership and everything. I just didn't understand. Oh, darn it. We're doing a dialogue while well, we're not skipping through it. You the dynamos. I will replace them and recalibrate the sensor now. Done. With the network back online, I should now be able to remotely hail Captain Pork at base camp via my communicator badge. Spark to Pork. 
Come in, Captain Fork. Captain that Fork, so do you weird. read me? Ah, there's a gremlin in my shirt. Oh, wait. Ah, was that you? Hello. Ah, did you take it with my crew badge again? The communicators are indeed working. And believe it or not, we have the severing of the fire and ice paradox chain to thank for it. You see, my sensors have serendipitously collected data which shows a dramatic reduction in the ether in the air, most notably around Athanor. The decrease in atmospheric animositrons confirms the ether is the physical residue of the ancient clash between Raven and Spider. The paradox chains appear to attract the ether and even bolster its volatile, violent nature. The negative energy is what keeps Raven and Spider away from Imperia. Ergo, breaking the Paradox chains is bad in that respect. Conversely, the diminished ether has greatly simplified travel, and as you just me? witnessed, create I programmed our crew badges to function as communicators. Conversely, the diminished ether has greatly simplified travel, witches. and as you just witnessed, created fascinating communications capabilities. I programmed our crew badges to function as communicators. I took the liberty of fashioning you one as well. You are now. There are no, a few secure. I programmed our. Don't it, I can't even listen to that. I missed a lot of that. I was. Just, I think has a like my mouse is something has something wrong with the left click, to where it always will click two times and it's annoying. I'm sorry, it's like. Research assistant, there you are. I take it by your long absence and Spark's startling apparel-based communique that you got his sensor network working. And our badges are now communicators. Fact, fact. Now I don't have to go to Mandala. Uh, that is, now we can split it up and get more done. Research assisting isn't the only thing I've been up to, you know. I've got a solid lead on that dirty, no good, ripple across the coward. Bat. The traitor thinks he can hide in the one place we wouldn't think to look for him. But didn't think that I would think he thought it. I'm sorry, but you'll have to get Malori to Mandala -la, -la, la on your own. Don't be scared. Believe in you, Wizard. And you too, Beans. Yeah, great pep talk, Jimmy. Look, Wizard, Malori's vitals are dropping. We've got to get to Mandala now, but we shouldn't fly in blind. Lucky for us, I did some research of my own. Ignis told me about a Kalamar village on Mandala called Samsara. Apparently, there are monks there acutely devoted to life and death magic. Hopefully, they can help us get Malori to the right spot. Darn it, Beads, you're a doctor and an intelligence officer. Good work. You three should get to Samsara immediately. Come on, I'll help you push Malori to the pot. What is this going to look like? It's going to be sick. Must be taking the escape pod. We're escaping. I'm ready. Oh no, she needs some milk. Look for Samsara Village and don't get stuck talking to the locals. Got it. Let's get going. Let's see where this goes. I don't think I'm ever gonna get used to those landings. You okay, wizard? The stream portal's up and running. Now that we're here, we need to get along. It's not gonna be easy to find, though. The jungle's so thick it could be right in front of us, and we'd never see it. That looks like a path over there. Go see where it leads. I'll watch over Malori here. Be quick about it. My abs are killing me. Darn it. Is this another dungeon? I've dungeon these two boss, I don't know. You were entering as I was inside the tree for about four hours. Oh, well, I can't I remember trying to, I, that's a new thing, um, I remember I was still trying to do the, whatever you call it, I don't know what you call it, tower, what's the tower with the dude, goes, oh, why, 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 where's my last person, where's my last person, do we, Use Ew, these are creepy. Um, I was gonna. What I was saying is that I remember it was the. It was the dungeon. Let me think. What dungeon was it? It was the Blizzard Tower. I can't figure it out. The tower. The, the tower is. Yeah. 
Jurassic Boulevard. Um, oh my lord, I remember I used to always see videos about that, and I would always wonder, how did he, is it, it would, he, his, does he, he hit for, what, 10,000? There, isn't there a boss that hits for 10 million? I forget, I don't know, sure. But yeah, and I would always watch it after that, and I finally got to it, and then, <laughs> first time, we got hit by 10,000. I didn't know what I was doing. Like, this was two years back. Yeah, two years back. Way back. Um, uh, before I really knew how to do anything. It was, um, well, it was hard. I don't know. After that, I remember I seen the Warner Wars Dungeon Dungeons. I was always watching that. It's like, this dungeon recommends four people, and it takes around four hours to complete. Are you sure you want to enter? And I was always like, four hours, and I always remember that. But then I remember, I did it with a bunch of, like, level 90s or something, and it was so easy. Like, I got it done quick, quickly. Like, it was so hard. It was so easy to get through. It was like one of them. <laughs> Here's really good too. I remember I used that trick for level 90. I don't know. I, I switched to Darker here, right? When I hit. After I hit level 110, I, I went to Darker and I started working on that. Then I did it. Darker. Well, I couldn't do it. Then I found somebody I could do it. With. Yeah. So, yeah, look will be in the description to help me. Oh, more giants. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. Fruit salad. Fruit salad. Yummy, yummy. The right thing does not stop. What is it doing? I need to figure something out. Did I just put prisms on them? I'm so dumb. I legit just put prisms. That's bad. Wait, is ice blue so short? Ice blue so... They're not even ballast. Whoa, who are you? Look out! Oh. I was thinking about something, I forget what it was. Darn it! Oh, no, I was thinking about something. Oh, yeah.
Because tomorrow I think I'm not going to be doing a wizard video. I'm not sure. Because tomorrow I do have, uh, you know, the worst place on earth. <laughs> so I actually just was there. Honestly, on Wednesdays, it's not like you're so. You don't want to wait, like, yeah. Fridays are good, Thursdays are yay. I like Wednesdays are okay, and then Tuesdays are like. So this is and a Tuesdays bummer. Are just Let's like, get back to a safe ooh. clearing and I'll explain. Okay, the jungle's vibrations are calm here. I know it looked like those frogs were gonna <laughs> hurt me, but they totally weren't. You're strangers, I get it. You don't know how we do things. Life and death energy constantly shifts and swirls through the jungle. It's really amazing. I was preparing the grove for a death influx, see? Ah, now I have to start over. The fight totally harsh the vibes there. No worries, I can do it. You just gotta be more careful, you know? Sorry for the confusion, but we're in a hurry. We need to get this girl to Samsara and get her medical attention. Samsara? It's close, but you'll never get there on foot. We live above the jungle, in the sky. You'll have to fly. Take my sky boat. When you get there, find my man Cole. He'll welcome you. You'll love it there. Looks like all of us will fit. Barely. Let's go, wizard. Whoa! Whoa. Oh. This is gonna be the thumbnail. I'm sorry, but it is. Come a long way to get here, haven't you? Welcome to Samsung. To our limited perceptions, time is a lie. From the past to the future, lie and death. They look like two different things, but they're not. From outside a mortal vantage point, existence is a flattened circle, a wheel. Raven made the ring of mandala to remind us of that forever. This is Samsara, the center of my people's great work. I sense something very important brought you here. How can we Calamar help? This girl is dying. She needs your help. The chain is why we're here. We need to fill her with the chain's life magic to keep her alive. Why do you want to do that? Death is just a part of the cycle. You have to free your minds. Go talk to our elder. She'll help you. I don't care. <laughs> we all don't want to die, by the way. Greetings, stranger. I've seen your yourself. coming before in my meditation. You have an amazing aura. Yours is a mighty destiny. You have come to prevent a death. You do not understand. Life and death are not opposites. They are different segments of the Great Wheel. So why not let this girl die? It is the way. The wheel spins. The matter of her body will nourish new life. This is not to be feared. You don't understand. This isn't just any girl. If she dies, it could mean the end of everything. What do you mean? Let me look into the girl's aura and see if I can see what concerns you so much. This is the raven, child. If she dies, light will be lost forever and the cycle itself will break. I understand now. You must take her to the Cave of Quickening, where the chain focuses the power of life magic. Cole will arrange it. Wizard, I want to consult with the Elder a little more. You go get ready to go. I'll catch up.
convince the elder? All right, all right, all right. What you're doing must be really important. You need to get to the Cave of Quickening. Here's how it works. Life energy shines from the Temple of Life onto the Great Wheel at the Cave of Quickening. At this time, the Cave of Quickening is in the middle of the dying jungles where death energies are strong. You die without protection. You need to be purified. Talk to Gijai in the market. He can help. Oh, <laughs> oh, I don't know. I was a purple shot. <laughs> I was thinking, this is small for a market place with the people that are actually. <sighs> Is this a marketplace? Explain. The dying jungles? Oh, very dangerous. Bruh, very dangerous. If you want to keep the death magic of the jungles from withering you, you must purify your body and balance the life magic within yourself. I sense powerful energies inside you. You might be strong enough to resist the aura of death, but it's best to be safe and sure. In our hanging gardens, we use sagram seeds. They're ground into dust to rejuvenate blighted soil. They will harmonize your life energies. Go to the gardens and cover yourself in dust from the red, gold, and black urns there. Then return to me. We're almost level 126. This music is so good. It is done. Now you are ready to descend into the jungle. The dying jungles are far away. Too far for you to reach them on the ground. Talk to Losa, the wind driver. Her skyboat will take you. All right, wizard, we're ready to go. Lead the way. Wait, I have to do what with magic dust? Oh, boy. Keep going, wizard. We'll catch up. I will make sure your friend finds his way to you. Go now, and good luck. <laughs> down to the jungle absolutely first i need to harmonize with the wind spirits and commune with my ancestors i figure we'll take the updrafts over the clearing of contemplation then cut across on the west breeze to avoid the headwind oh you're in a hurry okay jump in my boat i'll get you there it'll be a little bumpy Zola, this stranger needs our help. They're going to the Cave of Quickening. Peace and harmony be upon you, stranger. You walk a dark path. Your aura is mighty. Cosmic forces swirl all around you. I see you're touched by Sagram dust. That's good. Your life essence is pure. To reach the Cave of Quickening, you must pass through the Achen Cave. They are overgrown with fungus born of death magic. Their spores kill all who breathe them. Your aura might protect you, but any who walk with you will surely perish. Sagram dust is not enough. There is an antidote, fruit of the Gomahar tree. It will harmonize the death energies in your body. Go to the dying glade and get some. Can I get off? Yeah, okay. This is really amazing.
Oopies. <laughs> oh, sorry, I had to blow my nose. Uh, that part should be edited out. <laughs> oh. <laughs> that part was not supposed to be on there. Strong and I am mighty. I am the forces of nature. Could we not today? I feel goofy. I said I had a bullet. <laughs> oh, I tried to make my mic, but you know, the life of me doesn't go the way you want. Sixty lights. Can we like? Oh my gosh! The issues I've been having with this stupid mouse. Shadow. Oh, okay. Please. Yeah, he's gonna pipe. They have a shadow pit. Like, use your shadow spell, please. Like, I don't want you to, but we swear.
destroyed it. Yep. <laughs> Darn it, was hoping that they messed up the floor. He's already 17. Oh, Lord. No! Oh, my gosh! I'm so done with this stupid mouse! Something's wrong with it. I'm so gonna like mess with it after this video because I can't. Okay, okay. Don't block. Seriously, I think it's gonna actually block. Like, like he would have probably been dead. Decently close to being dead. See, it's doing it in again. Can we please today? I don't have time for this. But he, what? How did they, they were like casting? I could swear that was a bell spell. Or was that a thought? I don't know. Don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit, don't hit. Did he? I thought he did you to me. Oh, my God, I thought he did. No! Did we just actually die? Yes. Uh, we just actually died. Okay, let's go back to Okay, here I okay, let's go back. Did that pop too? This is why I I'm a, I'm I'm blue if I'm the other piece of the rock. I can't see that as well. Okay, let's just kill them quickly. Maybe we Did it again. Oh, I'm, I'm done. I'm so done. I'm...
today I have to hit because if I don't hit here, let me tell you what's gonna happen. They each have full food. It won't go very well. I 
That took way too long. We're still going to just work damage. Come on, come on. We gotta pray. Pray, 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 pray. Smart idea, dude. Honestly, smart. Which one has a better chance? Who is texting me like? Man. tomorrow so thank you guys for watching thanks for the support we gave two subscribers since the last video hit the like button subscribe i will be hoping to get some more videos out to you and peace out y'all have a good day